Hi Gemini, Amanda here. Welcome to Unseen Hands Healing. This is going to be your December big shift reading. So we're looking at the shift collectively from Scorpio season into Sagittarius, from the, the deep waters into the lightness of fire, right? the higher seeking energy of Sagittarius. And so as we make this shift in today's spread, I'm going to tell you a little bit about um, the visualization that came to me as I was meditating on your energy. And then we're going to get into cards asking, what is the shape you are shifting out of in December? What is the shape you are shifting into? And what does that shift look like? Okay. And today we are looking at the golden tarot, using the golden tarot to look at that shift for you. And I'm choosing this deck because it's got imagery from the late Middle Ages, early Renaissance, and it, it's got that, you know, Christian mysticism for the holiday season. Okay, I'm into it. So the visualization that came through as I was meditating on your energy was pretty interesting here, Gemini. Very Gemini. I saw, I kept feeling like I was up in the trees. I was like, oh, I'm up in the trees. I'm up in the trees. Am I a bird? Am I birds? Like there was definitely birds around and I was kind of up in the treetops. And then I felt um, the energy like an ax, like a cleave, just like cleave through the center of the tree, like, like that. And I saw the tree split right down the middle like this and the two halves of the tree sort of splayed out like this and the and then <clears throat> the sap from the center of the tree from the bark of the tree started sort of oozing out and and dripping down to the base where then it began to you know, sap is very sticky. And so it began to sort of solidify from the roots. And as more kept pouring in, you know, that would rise, rise and rise. And that actually started to then bring the tree back together, like glue the tree back together from the sap that seeped out of that split that wound, you know, almost like seepage from a wound gelling over and actually helping to heal, helping to bring the two halves back together. Very interesting, Gemini. Tree feels like earth energy to me. So that's an interesting image for you. While, so there, there's both air and earth happening in this visualization because I felt like at the very beginning of the of the meditation, I felt like I was up in the trees. You know, I was like, oh, I'm up in the trees, like up high. Oh, I'm up in the, I'm up high in the trees with the birds in the canopy, you know? And then we split to come down to the root, which, which wasn't exactly the roots. I, I got the feeling that the roots were not affected because it, you know, the roots are underground. The ax didn't go all the way through. It just went right to the base. And then whew, the sap gelled it back together. Really fascinating visual to be, to be starting this shift off with. Okay, let's go to cards. A couple shuffles for you here, Gemini. What is the shape that Gemini is shifting out of? in the month of December. Most fast. What have we got? Huh, shifting out of the Four of Swords. Nice, a time of healing, a time of rest, recovery, recuperation. Especially this person looks like they're convalescing. you know, from some sort of heartbreak, some sort of, you know, if not heartbreak, then just like painful time, painful battle, painful situation, because it's like those three swords in the Tower of the Three of Swords is like three swords stabbing through a heart. You know, it's like heart pain that is being hung up on the wall. It feels very sort of 
it's present, but it's dormant. You know, it's it's like up on the wall now, being hung up on the wall because it's past energy with this um, coat of arms right next to it. It's like hanging up the sword, hanging up the shield and taking a rest. There's still one sword next to you on the bed. You know, that's your sword. Your sort of truth. Interesting. Okay, so you're kind of just like coming out of this rest mode, this resting and healing. Let's see, what is Gemini shifting into? What is the shape that Gemini is shifting into in the month of December, Sagittarius season? What is Gemini shifting into this month? Wow. Justice, your neighboring air sign here, Libra. Air energy, the scales, wanting to find balance. Wanting to find their way to balance. In this particular card, there is a bit of a tug of war going on. See that the scales are not balanced in this card. As we meet this card, as we meet this energy, the scales are not imbalanced. And it looks like justice, this angel is struggling to hold the balance, struggling to keep these energies. You know, this, this person, this angel is having to sort of bend themselves in order to compensate for the weight over here and we have this being shown in a very typical you know devil versus angel type way of looking at this energy you know because that's the spirit of these of these cards interesting we've got some a bird that looks like a hawk or a falcon up in here in the corner, which is really speaking of truth. Come on. Speaking even more of truth and sometimes justice is even shown with holding that sword of truth and we've got that that sword down here as well. So you're coming out of, of a time of rest and recuperation and recovery and into this, this dance of now finding balance as you begin to find your footing again, as you begin to come out into the world, finding this balance, finding the truth, bringing out the truth. Major Arcana energy, it's a big deal. Okay, let's ask what that shift looks like and feels like from Four of Swords to Justice this month for Gemini in December. What does that shift look like for Gemini? Cards flying. What does that shift look like? Okay. Let's see. Oh my goodness. Okay. Aha. Eight of Wands. Interesting forward movement. Yeah. Coming out of dormancy, coming out of the Four of Swords and into the Eight of Wands. Just like full speed ahead. Really interesting. Full speed ahead. <gasps> okay. Uh-huh. Yeah, thank you. Finding the balance. <laughs> Five of Wands. Again, a sort of a fast uh, uh, or like um, a frenetic type energy is present with this. We've got a lot of cooks in the kitchen, a lot of energies working towards something, but they're doing it in, you know, everyone's trying to find their own role and perhaps sort of vying for position here, vying for like to have their opinion heard or, or to contribute in some way. And it's resulting in some sort of chaotic, like chaotic, chaotic type energy. And then the Knight of Coins, which is you know, slow and steady wins the race, moving forth with a clear plan, a clear vision, but moving slowly. Um, and so I'll show you what that shift looks like. It's so funny to me that we've got justice trying to balance the scales. And here we've got very different speeds of energy on either, on either end here. We've got the fast moving incoming energy of the 
eight of wands, the five of wands feeling like, okay, trying to process all of these wands that have come in. And then the, the knight of coins needing, trying to, to find the balance in moving forward in a measured paced way. This is also earth energy, which is what I felt from that tree. Okay, so maybe Sagittarius season is bringing the fire, right? With eight of wands, wands is um, is fire energy. And here you are in this Gemini swords element, the air element needing to take a rest from perhaps even like a real, maybe it's physical, but it could also be just like this mental break. Taking a mental break here. Um, and then we've got fire coming in. Some sort of, you know, the eight of wands can sometimes be, it can sometimes be messages coming in. It could be spiritual downloads coming in. It could be, it could also just be like forward movement energy, feeling a lot of momentum. And then here you are in the five of wands, really trying to figure out how to work with that momentum, how to work with all of that energy in a, a tangible, tactical way. And sometimes that can be really, really difficult because fire is fire is unruly. It is difficult to harness. It's difficult to rein in once it is blazing like this, once it's like, you know, full blaze, full forward movement with the eight, it's difficult to then try to bring it back to a five. That's interesting. Once it's at an eight, it's difficult to bring fire back down to a five. You kind of just have to let it burn a little bit and, or, and, and like let it simmer, let it just consume so that it can get back, you know, so that it, it has less fuel to, to, um, to eat really. And then once it has less wood, wood to consume, it, it will die down. A little bit and then you can kind of go back to controlling how big it gets knight of coins but i'm also getting this image with the five of wands of um sometimes i get an image with this energy of digestion and assimilation you know like the process of digestion in a way that that is a little bit difficult it's like eating a really really big spicy, intense meal, and then your body finding it difficult to process all of that all at once. And so it's sort of like all systems, all hands on deck, all systems go. And perhaps the whole thing really feels like, like a whole new energy for you, especially if you've been asleep in the four of swords then it's like the the rooster crows and the sun uh, you know awakening you to the sun coming out the presence of the sun you know dawn is upon us dawn is upon us and you could almost see the in the knight of coins you could almost see this as the sun being out the sun is out now and it's just a matter of finding the way forward nice and slowly taking your time you can see this person looks really satisfied you know they look like they're looking at this thing like okay great that's much more manageable that's that's tangible that's something i can really work with good i'm starting to feel good about this you know that's that's the energy that i'm getting after like the initial like ah, I don't have to rest anymore. Wow, I'm moving forward. And that being a little bit difficult for your energy to assimilate, you know, here you are like doing the dance of like, whoa, this is kind of intense. I'm trying to keep the balance. I'm trying to keep the balance. Wow. Gemini, really interesting here for this December, this shift in the month of December. Okay, so I'm going to close your reading here with a little holiday present okay this is the beautiful major arcana botanical tarot from kevin j stanton is the artist all right so what's the major arcana guidance here for gemini in the month of december oh, that was fast 
Oh, okay, beautiful. The higher font, I'm just checking the flower. Tea roses, so sweet. I like that we've got the two, the two flowers here, finding balance. Uh-huh, as above, so below is something that just came to me, which is very higher font energy. This, um, you know, my friend, oh, who's actually got quite a lot of Gemini energy, so she may be watching this. Um, my friend is an acupuncturist and she was telling me this really beautiful way of thinking about human beings being this go-between between between heaven and earth because unlike many other animals we stand upright you know it's like that's what makes us a little bit different from animals that crawl on their bellies or swim or um walk on all fours we stand upright and so that giving us that vertical position allows us to be this channel between heaven and earth bring that higher divine energy down onto earth and that happens um through consciousness you know which is mental energy which is that beautiful gemini energy and that's sort of what i'm seeing here is heaven and earth as above so below and and that human consciousness being the the channel between the two so gorgeous finding the balance between the two as well, you know? Okay, here's a lot incoming spiritual energy. Now, how do I assimilate all of that and bring it down to earth in a tangible way that I can work with and that I can move forward with steadily and productively? Hmm. That's nice, Gemini. Ooh, interesting start to your shift reading here. So now I'm going to continue to pull cards, all right? So for those of you who have been following my channel for a while and these monthly big shift readings are resonating with you, um, I want to encourage you to consider joining the community over on Patreon where we start to really dig deeper into these monthly shift readings um, and dig deeper in lots of other ways as well. So if this work is resonating with you, this reading is resonating with you and you want to go deeper, stick around at the end of this reading. There'll be a little clip, a preview of that extended readings to make sure that you still resonate with the energy and if you do click the link below it'll take you over to patreon you can read all the instructions over there on the description it'll tell you walk you through the steps of how to view the extended reading and what it means to be a member of patreon and um for 11 11 11 dollars and 11 cents you can you can join this community and work in a deeper way and view the extended reading for this shift reading. Okay. So, um, if that's resonating with you and you want to dive deeper, I'll see you over on Patreon where we can do that either way. Gemini, thank you so much for joining me. Happy holiday season. It looks like this, this Sag fire energy is really going to kick some stuff off from, for you. Um, and so I'm looking, I'm looking forward to digging deeper into this and figuring out what is this, you know? What's the catalyst for essentially waking you up here, bringing you out of dormancy? And, and then how can you assimilate that energy and find the balance moving forward, okay? So we're gonna dig deeper now and get into it a little bit. All right, Gemini, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Finding the balance between effusive emotional expression with the Knight of Cups. Oh my God, I love you, blah, 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 right? Like a lot of emotional expression can be like the romantic of the tarot, just really like, oh my gosh, blah, 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 okay? Spilling out from the heart and the king who sometimes can be a bit of an emotional withholding. So it's like finding that balance, justice, finding that balance. And I think the way you find that balance emotionally, listen, you have a lot to offer, Gemini. You know, you may have a lot of water in your chart because there's, you know, a lot of water showing up now. You've got a lot to offer emotionally here. You've got a really big, beautiful cup of love or whatever. You know, you've got a big heart. 
You really do. It's about um, moving forward in a way that that takes care of that heart. <laughs>